People selling products like skincare and injectables b you all the time when it comes to inducing collagen production. And here's the absolute proof. First of all, speaking anatomically, there's actually 28 types of collagen in our bodies that we know of so far. Some are completely useless in an anti-aging context, and some are seen in higher or lower amounts only during times of, say, tumors like cancer. Practically every product on the market will create something like type 1 collagen and maybe some type 3 on the side. These can be useful, but there's an inherent limit as to how much skin tightening they can actually give. Because types 1 and 3 are physically held in place in the skin using other types like 17, 4 and 7. None of this is opinion or anything to do with me, it's pure anatomy. 17, 4 and 7 create a structure that's like a cocktail stick going through a burger, keeping all the layers of the burger tightly together. They go through the layers of the skin vertically to keep the skin tight. 1 and 3 on the other hand is like adding more meat into the burger, but nothing to keep them, them tight. So when you eat it, the meat just slides out on the other side. Again, it's, it's pure anatomy, it's not opinion. So what should you do? You should question which types of collagen are actually being made by the treatment or product that you're thinking of getting. Most of the time, the company can't even answer, which I think is absolutely pathetic that they're selling something to you know, innocent people who think their skin will tighten, but it's not making any of the, the, the more important structures for tightening. And even if they make more than types one and three, you've got to ask how much of the other types it's actually making because if it's just you know a bit then then what's the point I don't want a bit of the more important collagen types I want as much as physiologically possible on top of that there's an even bigger scam going on in the industry which seems to have been going on forever by the looks of it many times you'll see a company talking about creating collagen to make your skin elastic listen very carefully to me right now Collagen does not make your skin elastic. That's what elastin is for. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that's why it's been named elastin. But why haven't we heard of this then? Why, why haven't we seen it on any new product or marketing? Well, the reason is that it's one of the most difficult proteins in the world to induce the production of in the skin. Innumerable labs and brands all around the world have tried for decades to create elastin and they've all failed. It's ridiculously easy to make types 1 and 3 collagen, but super difficult and basically impossible to get types 17, 4, 7 and even elastin. There's only one product in the world, in fact, that can prove its ability to maximally and physiologically produce elastin, as well as those other important types of collagens like 17, 4 and 7, and even you know other proteins needed alongside, like fibronectin. Before I tell you the name of it, realize that its ability to do these things is factual and it has nothing to do with my personal opinion that I love using it. Even if I hated it, it still has proof in the form of actual patents that it can do these things. The product is called Sunacos. And in fact, Sunacos is so strong in anti-aging that it's now also the first and only product in the entire world that has so much anti-aging strength that it can even make the tissues injected with it resistant to drugs that purposely induce cell death, which are used in chemotherapy. And again, it's patented for proof. Now, I know some of you are thinking, why would you inject chemotherapy drugs in an anti-aging context? It's, it's simply to demonstrate how much more anti-aging effect there is than every other product in the world. In fact, it's so good that the tissues which are treated with it become so youthful and strong that even something ridiculous like chemo injections can't damage them as normal then it shows you the level of anti-aging effect it puts into your skin and how much less your skin will age once you've been treated with it from a cosmetic context. So for those of you that are interested in Synecos, I'll link below to a video I made explaining how it works. For those who are thinking of getting the treatment, it's unfortunately not in every single country in the world. And I think the best thing probably to do is actually just check if it's in yours uh, by emailing the manufacturer of professional dietetics and just ask them directly. Just say that you know, you've seen this video, you want the treatment for yourself, and they will let you know the best way to get it done.